I am a hand holder. Um, I, I, I actually, in some ways, I think that like holding hands is more intimate than a lot of things that people consider to be intimate, because you're you're taking a a very important tool that you have in your life away, and you're you're sharing that and giving that to someone else knowing that they've got the other hand that's free on the other side. And so you have to trust that their hand can they're act. They're not going to like smack you. Well, that they're not going to smack you, <laughs> but also that if anything's coming in from that direction, <laughs> they're going to they're going to manage it cuz I can't what you right. can't manage with that can't. that held hand. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what this movie is about that long-term friendship can lead to um, a deeper understanding and relationship. Sometimes you know, as you get older in your life, you start to realize, like, you, you really have these close connections with people through shared life experiences. So it only makes sense that Peter and Debbie end up together because they've lived so much of their, they've been through divorce and breakups and moves and new jobs and she had a baby. And yeah, I, When I read this script, I was like, okay, I, I know this experience. I know this relationship. I have an understanding of what this is. Um, yeah, for 10 years, we were friends, like, longer than that 15 years we were just friends and and at, with nothing romantic between us and then um and then it changed it shifted it and and it wasn't I, I mean I think it was dissimilar to the film in that these these two characters always had there was always a spark there was never a spark <laughs> between my wife and I until there was and then and then it shifted but I think the biggest thing is that relationships are built on trust. And when you've known someone for that long, you know how they're gonna react in a time of crisis. You know how they're gonna act in, uh, uh, when, when things are bearing down on them. You know how they experience joy. You know whether they're adventurous. You know, you, 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 there are all these details about that person that you know that are kind of like the getting to know you period in dating. But you and, and sometimes people put on a facade uh, in the in the getting to know you dating period. But having been friends with someone for so long, I I genuinely knew who this person was. There was no and, and I also knew that like if there was a facade, that it was a facade in any way, shape, shape or form. And she knows that. And so you're able to call each other out on your BS uh, really easily and and then and then start like building a romantic relationship that is on like Wait, I'm going to trust you with my life for the rest of my life, which is that's yeah. a, that's that is the essence of you know a, a true romance. Yeah, I think every mom has a feeling of you know, <laughs> am I doing enough? You know, I have three children and they are my entire life. You know, raising them. I had a baby when I was 23 years old, so. I know that feeling for a very long time of what it means to be dedicated to their happiness. And sometimes I think a lot as moms, we forget to take care of our own happiness. You know, sometimes it's, yes. and you lose yourself. So I think it's really, what I, one part of the film that I thought was really great is that Debbie is going to New York to have, to get this college degree and have this life experience. It's really important to remember who she is as an individual. Name. Oh, I'm from Tennessee, so. <laughs> I named him after the place I'm from. And I love Tennessee so, Williams, and I thought it was a really strong name. And he never complained, like, what a weird name I have for something he like that. He only complained when he was five and he was learning to spell his name. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a monster. Because everybody else was like Jack, Dan, Ben. And he's like, why, <laughs> why is my name Tennessee? <laughs> it's really cute. I have a cute picture of him. Yeah. Here. Write it. <laughs> Oh, uh, the interview with my brother. Uh, so that was what well, the interview was about something that had happened when we were 13 years old. Um, so I don't really view doing the interview as uh, helping my brother. Um, so, I, um, but I, I would, I mean, he's my brother. He's my twin brother. He's the, I, I would give and do anything for him. Um, that's family. Family is very different, though, in, in so much as you. Your friends, your romantic part, you don't, you, you choose them. Your family, you don't choose. Your family, you, it just, that just is. And so, and there's this, at least in my family, there's this notion of uh, uh, blood is thicker than water. And, and your, your family, the, the love there is, is by its very nature deeper. 
where your family member can punch you square in the nose and they're still your family member. <laughs> and so it's a little yeah, bit of, yeah. it's the rela a relationship with family to me is like rougher um, and, and more honest uh, to some extent um, because it's, the, you're, they're never not gonna be your family. And so, um, so that's, that's my relationship with my brother. We, we, we spar sometimes and, and then when we love, we love like completely unabashedly, completely open and, and are just absolutely in it. But he's also my twin too, which is, that complicates things even further um, because you're just kind of the same person. But, and you've Absolutely. always just been a bundle, like a, a, a bundle package, which is that. <laughs> but remember, remember when you have a twin, you don't, you never have your own birthday. Well, in the movie, you see, we say we share everything, but we don't share we everything. Don't. Yeah. I don't think it's possible. There's too much information in life. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, I, well, I. I, I'm a firm believer in like absolute transparency in a relationship, but uh, absolute. And if you ask, you get the honest, absolute answer. I'm a firm believer in that. I don't, I don't think that there's, I don't think secrets help relationships. No, no. 